how do you get better at learning how to tell a story through your improvisation and just how Good can question. you help do that? First, who I listen to, because my father's a jazz musician, I was always listening to live. First, I listened to him all the time. Uh, then the musicians I heard were Clark Terry, Sweet Edison, Blue Mitchell. They, those were trumpet players. They were like mentors to me. I knew them, so I was always hanging around them when they came to New Orleans. On recordings, Miles Davis, Clifford Brown, mm -hmm. Freddie Hubbard were the main three that I listened to on, on, on recording. Of course, as I, as I grew older and learned more, that expanded to Louis Armstrong and musicians from earlier generations who I would not have listened to, I was too, too ignorant to listen to them. I began to incorporate him, Roy Eldridge, who I also met when I was in high school, but he was, he was so much older than me, I didn't have the proper respect. I wish I could go back to that time and reclaim the, 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 the time and the opportunity to talk with him and learn from him. So in that way, I, I wanna encourage you to expand your circle of listening from contemporaries to the entire history of our instrument. And uh, it's important to get a historical perspective on the instrument, and it's fun. Uh, so I, I would say that. In terms of developing your solos, in the construction of your solo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, the, the, name three or four of the greatest musicians at construction. Louis Armstrong, I want you to learn a solo by Louis Armstrong uh, on, on something called Tight Like This. Okay, it's from the Hot 7 or something. I think it's recorded in 1928. First, just if you could play that solo along. Try to play it. Don't just listen to it because he's playing it and it give you the illusion you can play it. Because when he's playing it, it sounds real easy. When you start playing it, you're going to say, hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, a great solo for construction is Charlie Parker, Embraceable You. Yeah, but it's the one that starts going, boo bee bee dee doo dee. Bird is such a poet. So check out how Bird constructs his phrases and don't learn like what I call generic bebop. Go to the source. Dizzy Gillespie once told me something about Charlie Parker. He said, man, when all the rest of us play what we call bebop, we play fast runs and then we finish with a melody. When Charlie Parker played, the whole thing was melody. So that way of construction. Another good thing is a good solo to learn is Miles Davis' solo off of uh, Someday My Prince Will Come, a blues called Francing or No Blues. It's a good, uh, good to get you, give you a sense of construction. Also, it's good to read Big Spiderbeck on Louis Armstrong. If you read what Big Spiderbeck says, he realized when he first heard Louis Armstrong play, he's talking about how to construct the solo. Finally, the real master of construction in our music is Thelonious Monk. Get an album called This Monk's Time. Just check out Monk's comping and his soloing because he knows how to construct a solo. Thank Hope you. that helps you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Great question.